I am a trusty sidekick. Old Vinny is here. Welcome to the Tuesday afternoon live show this afternoon. The Crafty Sidekick shenanigans is on the other side. Welcome her in. It's great to be with you today. I want to give you a quick update. My dad is doing better since this weekend. He had some uh, issues with his blood pressure getting too low, caused him to pass out this weekend. So we went to the doctor yesterday and got some adjustments in his medicine, and he is feeling better today, thankfully. Also, I want to mention uh, our sweet Tamitha, all the wonderful work that she does for us. I'm not sure she's going to be on with us today. She's going to be here a little late. Her husband is uh, being admitted to the mm -hmm. hospital. So you, we want to be uh, in in to remember Tim in prayer um, as he's dealing with some issues. So we want to make sure we don't forget about that. Uh, she will be with us, but my mom says she's going to be joining a little bit late. If you're new to us, we are my mom made it. Everything that you see on the show today can be purchased through our online craft store at www.mamamadeit.com. We also would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and join in the my mom made it community. We have a great community of people that love one another and that care about one another and pray for one another too. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we'd love to have you. There's one more thing that I want to mention, and that's like in our videos. We call it vinnying the video. So if you see somebody say, I vinnied, that's what they meant. They liked our video, and we appreciate when people do that. So if you're having fun, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it greatly. If My you're mind. not having fun, give us a thumbs up, too. Yes. Give us a thumbs up anyway. I like what Lorna said. She said, Tim and Tim, that's precious. It's like a Tim Tam. Get Tim -tam. it from... From Australia, a Tim Tam. Yes. Yeah, so please be in prayer for them. They had a long night. Um, they didn't get a hospital room until like early this morning. And it, they were in an ER room all day. It's been a long day. But earlier I was told that that he should recover, which is really, really good. And that um, I think the only issue right now is cognitive. So if you could just be praying for him, they, def they definitely need it. So Tamitha said she would be here, but she would be just a little bit late, and that's perfectly fine. We got it yeah. until she gets here. Well, or we were late. Hopefully, we. I was. We I was late. like, yo, it's two o two. That was on me. Didn't realize it. All right, you guys. I asked you a question. The pre-show question was, "What is your most used shape in your craft room?" Now, I don't mean rectangles. You can't do that if you're a card maker. I, if it is a rectangle, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, don't say your card base outside of your card base, which is typically rectangle, sometimes square. On the card itself, what's the shape you're using? What are you thinking? Um, if I can use the shape banner, <laughs> I use that one a lot. If I can call that a shape, I use that a lot. Um, uh, or I do use some, I guess that's a rectangle with a tail on the end of it, right? Yeah. But one of my favorite shapes, actually, I think my favorite shape, but if you ask my daughter-in-law, she would say I'm lying. My favorite shape is a hexagon. I love a hexagon. I think you can do so much with it. And we're going to play with that today and see what we can do with them. But I my daughter-in-law, huh? I think you're lying too, because your favorite shape is a wreath. <laughs> she, would say, is a circle. she would say my favorite shape is circle because wreath. She she has discovered, Taylor's discovered this whenever we go shopping. I will say, look how cute that is. And she'll go, mm -hmm, circle. Like she'll find a circle around it or something or some way that it's got a circle on it. But I love a hexagon. And let me tell you how much I love a hexagon. So since I've taken up sewing and I've seen people use hexagons in sewing, I love them. But I will tell you this. I am not a slow project person. Do you guys have a slow project going right now? What's your slow project? Tell me in the chat. I'm not a slow project person. I think a quilt is slow enough. I don't want to slow it down by having to make hand cut hexes and sew in a hexy together. And I don't want to do all that. But I love the way they look. So I may not mess with them that much, but I love them. Today, we're not going to play with bees. Did y'all see that in the thumbnail? We're not going to turn it in for bees. This one's not for the bees. This one's for a little bit different, something different. All right, so I have done some pre-work. Let me open my little storage container up here. I've done some pre-work. Look at all these hexes. Aren't these the cutest things ever up here? Now, I got to show you where those came from because you're going to want to know. I already know you're going to want to know. Those come from here. You guys, there are 16 different colors in here. 16 different colors. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different colors. I only used, I think, seven of them. I used red and this pink, and this pale pink, orange, yellow, both these greens, a blue and a purple is what I used today to cut all of these. 
okay? And then these guys down here come from this paper pack. It's called the Sunny Blooms. I love this so much. These, I'm just going to tell you all right now, then I'm going to tell you this. You can't get us too many of these. Can't. Of the different kinds. Same one, and, the, and the same ones over and over. Same again. ones over and over. I don't care. Because they're just so useful. You cannot get us too many. I go to this paper so much lately. It's something about how quick I can put a pattern together, you know, without having to think. I love it. Okay. So the other thing I'm using today is this guy. This is the Echo Park. I think they call this Beehive. I think this is the beehive or bee uh, stitched or bee happy okay. stitched or something um die set you do have to cut these apart when you get them and i cut it apart so i could get that second one this this middle one is adorable too can you imagine cutting all these out this would be super fun um but i cut this guy out and we're gonna be using this card so i'm gonna set that aside for now i don't need to cut today i've already done it so i'm just gonna set that aside and put my little tray aside all right let's talk about what we're doing first i was on pinterest are you shocked what? Absolutely. Then they went to Pinterest. I don't even believe it. Y'all can't make me believe that. <laughs> and so I saw this card. It was a flower made from a hexagon. It was the cutest thing I ever saw. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. So I've never done it. We're going to do it on camera today. So what I did, this is a four and a quarter by five and a half. You love that I do stuff on camera for the first time. It didn't bother me. You just gave me that. You were like. It does not bother me. Did y'all see Vinny's look? He went like that. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a full back of a card, uh, the full background of a card. Okay, I have an A2 card. This piece is a scrap. I just grabbed it out of my little, um, so I just keep my scraps in here. Y'all know since we have the new little containers, not new containers, the ones we make, because we have our handmade containers now. If y'all don't know what those look like, I had one sitting here. Is it gone? You already put it up? That's okay. She's cleaning. She's cleaning. No big deal. But we have, I don't know where it is. There's a lot of cleaning going on right here. Um, we have the little holders for them, so I keep my cardstock in there. So I grabbed this out. I cut it to four and a quarter, and whatever height I got, I got. My plan is to get two cards out of this, so let me show you. If I come right here to the side, I want to make this my ground, and I'm I'm really copying the card I saw on Pinterest, Excuse which me. I saved. I'll come back and link it below because I didn't do it before we went live. I don't want to cut this at an angle straight across. I want to come in a little bit and cut it at an angle. So what I'm going to do is use my ruler. I can use my, I can use my. Cutting. So it's going to be showing up Whoppy Jaw. No, it won't be. Actually, they did it very neat and I thought it was cute. So I'm not going to Whoppy Jaw it. Okay. I'm going to measure. So I'm going to come down an inch and a half. And I'm going to come up an inch and a half. Ooh, and then. Shannon posting links today. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> As long as she doesn't go any farther with um, or faster, that she used. Fly. Not faster. Well, I've gotten everything so far, but I'm no Tam, y'all. Now, I put this pencil mark to pencil mark on my cut line. And if my trimmer can hold out because it needs a new blade, it is begging me for a new blade. Look, it's begging for one so bad. Blade? It does need a new blade. I'm going to be honest. You it's tired. It it's tired. So I'll let Shannon do that. Okay. So here's what we ended up with. Well, Kaylee says my three-month-old was inconsolable and fighting sleep. I joined your live Aww. to watch while I try to cuddle her to sleep, and she calmed down and is listening along too. Everybody says Aww. I can make people go to sleep. Voice of May May. Everybody says I can cause people to go to sleep. I mean, she puts me to sleep. <laughs> I put everybody to sleep. I don't know how I am on YouTube. So if I start you, yawning, y'all understand. You have a soothing voice. That's why I yawn when I'm in here. You said yawn. <laughs> I said it because I felt it coming on. Oh, and that's oh, you're you were prepping it, us for yeah, it. I was prepping people for the wall. Um, the this is my plan. Copying what I saw. Okay, this is my plan. But this may need to move down. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use our stamp set called Action. This little guy right here, this little stitch line, he's been around a long time, you guys, and I love it. I love it. So let me get him out, and I'm going to show y'all. our most popular of all time. This yes. stamp set? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's so favorite. eventually, this is going to become a flower stem. Eventually. Not yet, because I don't know how big my flower is going to be. Like I said, I'm doing this for the first time. I may not even ink up the whole thing. Because I may not need it. All right, let's talk about the flower. You guys, watch this, okay? I'm going to take six different patterns. Not they couldn't be different. I'm just going to make them kind of similar. I'm going to take six 
of these guys. Let me pick this one up out of here. Well, thanks for asking, Kaylee, and I am feeling better, but it is allergy season, and I do have a lot of headaches this time of year as a result of that. I take a daily medication for my allergies, but I also like to push hog and ride the tractor, <laughs> which is so out the window. Not a good combination for somebody that has bad allergies. Now, I feel like you could use, like, let me just do this. I feel like you could put a hexi in the middle. Okay. I'm not going to, but I feel like you could. And then you just line these. Oh, it's cute like this too, though. Just line these up around. I want y'all to see the flower just appear. It's so cute. Look how this little calico, almost quilty little flower just appears. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now, I'm not going to leave this one in the middle. I'm going to do something else in the middle. So I'm going to take him out real quick. It's almost like playing little lego these things. But look how these just line up. Isn't that cute? So I want this to be over here on my card. This is why I think I'm going to have to um, trim down my ground. I think my ground is too big. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just put this guy over here. That's nice. Is it better with a fresh one? Yes. And these just kind of line up any way you want them to go. Let me get this guy over here like this. And let's put the plaid one. Now, again, you can mix these colors up. I just liked these colors. You can do anything you want to with it. And all they really do is line up with each other. You just have a little flat side against a flat side. And it just comes together. It just comes together. Now, I do believe that my hexi is bigger than the one I saw used on the um, picture, which makes sense because how many I'm using versus how many they're using. So you can edit that any way you want to. This being this way means I might use a little tiny ground and have my little stem come under here like this. So I'm going to move this guy off and I'm going to put a little tiny bit of ground on here. This is backwards. I haven't made it before. What I would do is make it and then learn how to do it and do it the right way the next time. But this is how she would do if she was practicing filming. This is how, we, that's exactly it. I would I would do this and then I would film it for y'all and, and I would tell y'all all the right things to do. Just a quick shout out to you guys that are watching on Facebook. It is great to have you with us today. Through the miracle of technology, we're able to broadcast live in multiple locations. So those of you watching on Facebook get to catch us there. While those on YouTube get to catch us there as well. So welcome in if you're watching on Facebook today. We're grateful to have you. Okay, I'm going to put this on down here. Just a little ground. Oh, I did pretty good. Pretty good on my glue there. Now, the cool thing is I think I'm going to cut off enough of this that I can make another ground out of it, too. So if you're a person that likes to make multiple cards at one time, you'll be able to do it with this, which I, I also think that is a good thing to do. I also think multiple cards at one time is a good thing to do. These are not the scissors I want, though, where we use them. I don't know where your shears are. Okay, so clarify that for me again. You put it on there, blow, and then you cut it off. Well, because remember I told you I was just playing and I just needed ground and I didn't know what size I needed. And I, I just cut this scrap in half to make a ground. But now I see that I could literally do this again and make another ground this way. And I can make two grounds out of this. So I can make four cards out of this scrap. Interesting. Did it make sense when I said it like that? Yes. It didn't feel like it. Donna R., you must. They're headed out from Texas tomorrow for oh. Talladega. Oh gosh. I plan to stop by. You got to come by. Are you coming to the open house? house? Yes, That's good idea. Talladega. Good baby. timing. Dega, baby. Dega. Good timing. We're making a left turn. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I love this. Can I fit that over there? Can I fit it? Can we fit it? We can fit it. We're going to fit it. Are you sure? Yep. We're going to fit okay. it. I love it. The plan comes I think together. if you put your mind to it and you stamp really good, you can do it. You're out of pastures. Mammoth by Treeside. Pause for a brief moment. On Dodd, and I'm fixing it. it don't mean I'll be quiet. That's right, Becky. They're making another left turn. If you're going to find Dougie, you're going to see a lot of those. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Unless they wreck. And then you might see some right ones. If you see a right turn at Talladega, you know you're in trouble. They might turn it around. Turn the vehicle around. 
All right, let's do this. I like this. This is so cute. Kaylin said, May May, we love watching you make something live, as in the first time. It gives a perspective on your crafting process. Typically, we have to do some sort of insert or reset or, <laughs> or delete. Undo, undo. I wish we had an undo button in crafting, right? I mean, I messed up when I was making a simple card base. Today? Yeah, yeah Mr. Helms is I doing better. It at the wrong spot. Um, and I had he to had an issue with his blood pressure dropping too low. That's what caused the deal on Saturday. Um, but we went to the doctor yesterday and got some adjustments in his medicine. So hopefully that uh, will not be a problem in the, uh, at least in the immediate future. Deanna Snyder's going to be at open house on Friday. Yay! Okay, so with that one hanging off. Can I just cut it? Well, it won't match no more. Can I just cut the flower off? Yeah. I don't have to. I can scoot over. I you do say, you, boo. you come to the left is to touch? I wouldn't uncover my stem. I like it. I mean, it's you could go happen. farther down on this stem. It's fixing to happen. Maybe you could spin it or something so it didn't. I came out. further down on my stem. He he thought I didn't because I covered no, it. No, I say you did. I just didn't want you to leave it. Oh, you're going to put something in the middle anyway. Oh, yeah. A surprise. About that part. It's a secret. A surprise Ooh. inside. I got a dog that hates thunder, too. She drives me insane. The weird thing is, if she's in her room and it starts thundering, she starts barking. If I bring her kennel and just sit it beside our bed, she shuts up and goes <gasps> to sleep. Y'all, I have good news. You want to tell them the good news? You can tell them. You you can. I'm always. You never get to talk. We were tell very fortunate news. enough to find Darcy a new home, where she is an only dog, and there are no children involved, so she is able to be herself and run and play, and not be scared anymore. You got to tell them why the no children part is important. We didn't know well, the children were an we issue. We didn't know the children were an issue until she went home with Haley, our uh, one of our people that work here. She went home with her this weekend. And was not able to stay there because Haley has kids and they made her nervous too. Haley was so excited to get to take, to try to get Bean. She was like, I mean, Bean, try to get Darcy. She said, you know what? I want to try. So she took her home and I thought this is perfect for her. No animals. This is going to be perfect. I never even thought that the kids might be an issue, but you know, kids can get loud and rambunctious. And she said, every time the kids would play, she'd run to her kennel. And I'm like, what are we going to do? So we brought her home yesterday no day before yesterday monday monday we brought her home monday she wasn't home anytime i came back to work and jasmine said hey may may i know someone who wants to try and it's her mm -hmm. it's a family member of hers i was like really she said yeah they had a dog that they lost and they really enjoy the lap dog and um she was like they want to try and she went home with them and she's already having a good time there's no kids there's no stress and that's what I wanted for her. She was so stressed out at our house. Then for ja for Haley to tell me she was stressed out at her house, I'm like, we got a bigger issue than we thought. It's her stress. Yeah, just much so, more. She was just, she just was this, miserable because she just, adorable. everything scared her. It did. One that's of the most adorable. tender, loving dogs I've ever owned. Even Haley said that. She said, I can't stand it because she's the sweetest thing ever, but she is a nervous wreck. Hey, watch this, you guys. Let's make a leap. I had somebody post on one of my videos and I love this so much. I, it was a punch art video that we did. And the person, I can't remember who it was, but they said, please bring back punch art. And I'm like, okay, I love punch art. Let's make a leaf. Darcy was a dash hound. Or is. 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 She ain't gone. She's not <laughs> dead. Yeah, she ain't dead. She just don't live with us no more. You guys, so I made a circle. I'm going to put the circle part way in and punch. And that'll be one leaf. Look at that, you guys. That's precious. Then this will be another leaf, and I'll be able to get more leaves out of here. So let's make a like a leaf and get out of here. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, Trisha, we will miss her. She was precious. But you know what? She's but still right she's here. I know where she's at. I thought about this. I was like, I know where she's at. If I want to go see her, I guarantee they'll let me. And the they might even bring her was, by. They probably will. They, yep. <laughs> they took her to town with them yesterday. They She was out playing in their yard. She's So far, she was very happy yesterday. Jasmine showed me pictures today. Yeah. Aww. See, that's the thing is, well, I don't know that y'all understand this. Let's tell the middle of those leaves. I'm going to, but I'm going to put it all down just, first. Just check it. One thing that you might not realize, if you're a pet owner, okay, it had gotten so stressful for us because she was so stressed. Like, 
Wow, we got weather coming. That's no, a weather alert. That's an amber alert. She um she was so stressed out, you guys. She was not enjoying home anymore. And not that not that we couldn't have, you know, worked it out or we did just had to take her. My phone may mess up because the amber alert, so give it just a second. Give it just a second. Wow. We're back. Okay. Um, but the thing is, I felt sorry for her because she was miserable. And at a certain point, it's like, we need to do better by you. And so yesterday when she um, was going to be with them, I talked to her outside. I said, Darcy, this is going to be so good for you. You're going to enjoy this. And I felt good about, you know, I talked to her and I was like, you're going to enjoy this. You're going to be able to live out the rest of your life in a place you want to be. And that's exactly what I think. And you, it's difficult because I've had her since she was a brand new baby. I've had her the whole time. Two inch. Two inch circle. Okay, I can open a can of worms here if I want to. I don't want to. Let me show you. I did these little black stitch lines on the leaves. I could do them here, but we'd be here a while. If I were making this card for someone, I probably would do little black stitch lines all around this. But if I did it now, that's a can of worms. We'll be here for a while. And I want to do other things with hexies. So I'm going to move on from that. Now then, do I want to stamp it? Y'all, this is my new favorite stamp set. This right here. It's my new favorite. I love it so much. Who's your friend? Who's your friend? That's true. Who's your friend? Are we friends? Look yeah. at that. Look at that. Wouldn't that be cute right there? I don't know where I want to put it. I may put it on the inside of the card. So I don't really want to stamp it. Look at this one. Oh, it's so cute. I don't want to stamp on it. Which one Thomas is friend? Just like friend. this. <laughs> Austin. Austin. <laughs> friend. He's my friend. Y'all, I kind of want to stamp this right over everything. Would y'all be offended? Y'all yeah. don't care, right? Y'all don't care, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to have a position there for this one. Let's see. Where's one close? Do I not have anything close? A Misty, a stamp wheel, anything? Probably put away. Because you've been cleaning? Well. <laughs> Shanna's been cleaning? Guess what? It's put away. We have been I mean, cleaning because if you're if, not aware, Friday. I've seen this place. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> one, two, three more sleeps and open house. At my, my lady. Have y'all been following that on Facebook? Sleeps. The sleeps. I have to tell y'all. Y'all will think this is funny. Sleeps. So Vinny cannot. He does not count days like we count days. Like if you ask Look. like right now, let's do a test. Hold on. Don't say, don't say, don't, don't say. I know what you're going to do, but watch. Let's do a test. Okay. Okay, open house starts Friday. If you were doing, if you were going to count the days till Friday from right now, how many days is it? Is it? Y'all tell us. Trust me, there's a method to our madness here. How many days till Friday? Right now. I know my answer. Don't say it yet. Let's let them start typing. How many days till Friday is it right now? It's kind of unfair, really, because today's Tuesday, which means for Vince, it's already Friday. <laughs> Tell me your numbers. We got a lot of threes, a couple twos. Okay, Shannon, what would yours be? We have two days until Friday. Okay, Vinny, what would yours be? Two days. Okay. Reason I'm being, in the three camp. Today is over. It's already today, Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, it's Tuesday. We have Wednesday. We so have we Thursday. We have Wednesday and Thursday. And, and then, then it's, it's Friday. Open house. I'm in the three camp. Okay. My kids are in the three camp, mostly. Thomas is in the two camp, I think. Although sometimes he'll go, I'm with Uncle Vince no matter what. But um, <laughs> I'm with Uncle that. Vince no matter what. No matter what. That's what he'll do. So yep. Today's already over. I don't count today. You can't count today. And you can't count Friday because then you're counting to Saturday. The day it starts. So I days. wanted to. I wanted to do a countdown on Facebook for Open House. And I wanted it to be how many days until, right? So the kids were all over at the house. This was Sunday night and I'm making the graphics for it. And they're all at the house and I spent how many days it was. And he was like, four. I'm like, it's not four, it's five. And I'm like, kids, I started asking all the kids, it's five, it's four, whatever. And I'm like, we're never going to be able to do this. So Josh looks at me, he goes, sleeps, mama. How many sleeps till? And I went, sleeps. That's what we'll do. I mean, we all know that today is not typically, <laughs> no. not really over, but, but you don't count the day you're on, in my opinion. Because then you would do it in hours if you need to count today. Yeah. It would be two days, and we've done what half of the day. So, you know, 
Yes, two twenty-eight. So there's ten hours left in today. No, so nine and a half hours left in today, there basically. You go. Two hours and so two days and nine hours. Two days and nine hours. So we went with sleeps because that's what worked. Um, everybody agreed with it. So if you've been following us on Facebook, y'all, this paper in the background has a grid and it's messing me up because I want to follow you know, it. It it really it's you know. We're not saying it is the day's complete. No, no, no. It's we're over. just playing. It's just funny because Vinny. It's just the way I do things. If we're counting down to holidays, Vinny's always like two days ahead of us on his count. Always. Um, it's just funny. So if yeah. you've been following us on Facebook, we've been doing us how many sleeps until. Um, if you haven't been following, you need to because we're asking questions over there every day. <laughs> so go check it out. Deanna said, who knew this was a controversial topic? I LOL. knew it. It's I knew not. it. Because really in my not. house, we me. talk about it. I don't count today because it's already today. So, yeah. and I don't count Friday because that's when it starts. So, in my house, in it's my a discussion. Mind, so, are two you days. are you counting today as three or Friday as three? Me? Yeah. Today is one. That's all I can tell you. Today is one, so Friday would be three, right? I mean, for you, right? If you're saying sleeps, then it's three. Oh, you're saying sleeps or wakes. Uh, sleeps. I'm, I'm saying if sleeps I is said, three. How many days until open? Days house? until is three. It's two. <laughs> two days. We're already in today. You can. You and Vince have the same yeah, argument. I mean, I've heard it for years. I've heard it tomorrow and the next years. day. It's always and then it's the same <laughs> argument. I'm just different. I'm built yeah, different, y'all. Okay, I'm built Kaylin, different. It's 57 hours. Thing. Thank you, Kaylin, for fixing that. I, <laughs> I was going to say that, too, because if you want to be technical, you count the rest of the day and until we open on Friday, and then you can just add all that up. Can I just tell y'all that that is stinking cute? It is super That's really cute. cute. Uh, that looks like it's stitched down or something. Now like we put it on a card base. That is That would be adorable. Let me, let me just say this to all of y'all. People are strange, and I'm people. Aren't we all? I don't, it's just funny to me. Like our whole, our whole marriage has been this way. Like I count this way. He counts that way. And so that's why. So if you're like, why is she doing sleeps? This is so silly, whatever. I'm telling you why I'm doing sleeps because that's what we have to do in our house. We can't do days. We have to do sleep. Okay, Jen, don't introduce a new issue. Jen <laughs> said wakes is more confusing. Oh no. <laughs> just stay with sleeps. How many wakes? How many wakes is it, Benny? Three. I'm awake right now. I'm awake tomorrow, and I'm oh, awake. Yeah, the but day. you don't count today because you're already awake. Oh, then it's four. But it would still be four three. Wakes. wakes Tuesday, wakes, wakes Wednesday, Wednesday, wakes Friday. Because you do wake up Friday oh. morning to go. Just come on Friday. You're already awake today. <laughs> just come on Friday. That's so really funny. let's just say this: y'all show up on Friday morning. <laughs> ever how many sleeps it is? Ever how many wakes it is? Ever how many I mean, days? It's all according to where you're living at as to how many wakes it is. Because if you're watching in Australia or something, it is less wakes. You're 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 less wakes. It is less wakes if you're there. That's funny. Why is cookie dough the greatest thing ever? Just because it tastes good. No, it. Friday's when it starts. It's so perfect. Donna says, I'll be there on Friday. Here's the thing. Right now, she's going, if I don't forget to set an alarm or look at the calendar right or whatever, yeah, we messed it, her Let's up. look at Friday. No Fridays when you need to be here. Ooh, Why? I just glued my hand to this card. I must love it. Timothy said, I'm here, and I popped in for some microseconds. We'll uh, take it. Well, Pam, I'm trying to live up to your speed, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not you. You're missed when you're not I'm here. in love with this card. How cute is that with hexies? Yeah, that's yeah, see, Kathy. Now, Kathy just really oh, threw dying. a wrench in it. She said, oh, if, you a, "If you take a if you take a nap, it might dying. be more wakes and sleeps and sleeps." We don't. Nap. Yeah, but my mom did every day. So if mom was counting sleeps till <laughs> it'd be like fifteen. It'd be a lot of sleeps. It would. Tamitha, are you if she sure? Sleeps like you. She dozes on the couch, then she wakes up, then she dozes on the couch again, and then she wakes up. That's literally what I do. Literally. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited about this. And if you stick around, we'll go through all of these. But we got a new product in from, it's not technically new, but it is kind of new. Okay, long story short, which it won't be because it's me telling it. Um, Short story long. Back in the day, we had these little nativity buttons. Do you remember this? They were buttons and they were nativity set. And they were made by Buttons Galore. And I loved them. And at the time, I could not get all of those, all of their line. And it made me sad because I love all of their buttons. 
Well, then we found a few and we started bringing them in. And if you remember the gingerbread house, we put the micro mini buttons. I'm going to show you some of those too. The little mini buttons to make the lights on the gingerbread house. And I was so excited we could get those. Well, this year at Creativation, I went to their booth and I placed an order so I could get everything I wanted. Y'all, we got more than 50 different buttons, and I'm so excited. Ask me how I know. Yeah, we had to count them. We know What? This. But. So I'm going to find something to go in the middle here, and, and I'm I'm spoiled for choice, you guys. Look at all this choice. And I'm, I'm putting the new products in. And we're going to flip through it, but and I want to find it. right here in the new products. I got to show y'all these ones that we have in particular. Just have to dig around a minute. I think these are them. Look at these that are called. They're all different. These are the sunburst version. Look how stinking cute these are. Wouldn't that be cute right there? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Where's the rest of them? Hold on. Here they are. Look at these sunburst. How cute are these going to be on our cards? And what I love about them is they are super flat. Look at the colors. We bought every color. Can I tell you how fun this was? We got into the booth. Me, Brenda, Shannon, we were freaking out, right? Even Vince was freaking out. They were really good. And I said, how are we going to do this? And Vince goes, okay, everybody pick 10. I was like, this is going to be too hard. We're going to we, have overlapping picks. We all picked, and we did. We did. But we all picked our 10 favorite, and you'll see what all we I ended up getting. cut it down to five at the end. We may have because we kept overlapping. We could have. Anyway, look at the black and the gray. Erica, the hexagons <sighs> are the, each petal of the flower is a hexagon. What color do I want in the middle? I kind of want yellow. But then again, I was thinking green, but green is a little uh, more leafy. Don't do green. Do yellow. Shannon said don't do green. Well, it's the center okay. of a flower. I'm going to pose one more question. Is it this Friday or next Friday? Because <laughs> <This> Friday. <laughs> the next Friday is when it is. It's this Friday. It's yeah, but this that's coming the, Friday. That's the next Friday. I don't like this question. I've never been good at this one either, and he knows okay, it. Okay, so let's just do it this way. It is April the 19th. <laughs> It's this Friday. Every Friday you figured that out. April the 19th. Okay, here's the thing though. This Friday can only be this Friday. No. Yeah. Last Friday Actually. can only be last Friday. And this next Friday. Friday can only be next. Well, there it is the next, but it's this Friday. If you have one sleep tonight, one sleep tomorrow night, one sleep the next night, yeah, then you're there. Y'all. I'm sorry. These are precious. Look, we can match the page underneath with the button on top. That's a good way to say it. This coming up Friday. Oh, I think that's the one. I think that's the one. Look how vintage they look. See, that's why I have to do yellow. Love them. All right, I oh, want to pop yellow. this up. I would say um, that it's this Friday, right here. not next here. Friday. I was going to say I have one Even one. though the next Friday is this coming Friday. Next, no, next Friday is. Next means the Friday after the next. <laughs> Thank you, Fatty. I appreciate somebody's with me in all of this. You guys. This, these buttons, we're going to go through all of them, but look how stinky that makes this card. See, I agree with Deanna. This Friday is the next Friday. You know what? Either way. What's funny about this? If I got it's this April card, if I got this card, I'd probably um, harvest that. I would take that off and use it in something else. Would you? Hey, Leanne that? asked, do you think it would, would go through I mean, the unless post I would say, if I wasn't saving it, it definitely will. I mean, You'll just have to pay the extra. Yeah, if I wasn't saving the card, I would save the button. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm losing control because now I've been informed that all Fridays are coming up. I'm saying. But the one this <laughs> one Renee is this says one. all Fridays are coming up. Um here's the thing about mailing. Everybody worries about that. I want y'all to think about something. Everything can be mailed. You just have to package it and pay for the extra. Okay. But also if you look at, you know, the big box cards, a lot of them have dimensional pieces on them. So it's not unusual to do that. It's not. But also think about this. How many times you hand a card to somebody? How many times you show up, you go, I mean, we used to couldn't remember, remember those dreadful years of 2020 to 2022 ish, three ish, where we weren't going places, but now we are. How cute to put this in an envelope. This is precious to me. I love this. Cora, on this Friday, April the 19th, this Friday or the next Friday that's coming or the Friday that's coming up, April the 19th, okay. we're having our open house. You're going to have to move on from that because I'm ready to move on from Look, this. people are still asking me questions. You I'm just move on help. from it. They're just teasing you. They've got you on lock. Shannon is gone again. Shut up. I've been gone. 
Shut I'll just up. pay attention, I guess. Nobody pays attention to me anymore. All right, let's talk about hexes. Here, next thing. When I was doing this, I was like, Shannon, wouldn't this make a cute wreath? It would. I think this would make a really cute wreath on a card. I've not done it. Let's just lay it out. She suggested different colors of green and her being a green fan. I thought I will do that because she knows green. So, oh, you're back. Back. You look uh, frozen. I might be. You're back. I think if you did this as a wreath at Christmas time. <laughs> I did not get rid of Shannon. He booted me out. I do not now have that kind of Shannon, access. Now poor Shannon, not poor Vini. He does not have that kind of access. <laughs> Only Meme has the power. He doesn't have that kind of power. Not without my back, without without my say, huh? Meme has the power. That is so cute. She got the control button for who gets booted. You put Merry Christmas on here. You tie you a bow. A reefy. You tie a bow. I actually don't think I would do it in this manner. I actually think I would do it this way. Now, yeah. you might want to do it this way. I, like I think I'd do it this way because it feels more like a circle. And when you put the it? bow on it, not that bow. Probably the, a red bow. She just had this bow laying there. But look at that. The hexes, are oh, they a, a die or what? These hexes are a die. This is the Echo Park die that is the beehive die. I think it's called the beehive, happy beehive, something like that. But it's just hexes. Okay, so that's that. There's one option. I just wanted to show y'all some other things. We can do a hexes. Now, I saw this done, and I think I'm going to do this while we go just to see what turns out, okay? So, I've seen people take hexes and just kind of start on the card with them. So, why don't we... Let me see how I want to start it. I think I'll start it like that. You just get one started. One, It's going to hang off. We're going to have to cut it, okay? But I'm going to get one started, and we're just going to start laying hexes and see what we get. How did I have that? I did it like this and like this. I just want to make sure I'm covering the card. Let me get there. Okay. So I'm going to start like that. Now, this is a perfect use of scrap. Because you are going to have scraps this size laying around. And then we're just going to go to town. Lining them up as if they were like Lego or a puzzle or anything. Mixing our colors up, playing around. I think I'm going to work my way across and then kind of work my way that way. I really don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, we'll see. This die is in the store. Yes, it? it is. Yes. So this die and the stamp set are in the store. If so. the die has sold out, you can call in. I know they were bulking up product for open house and I know there were only like six left in the store earlier. So you may, if you want it, you may have to call in to get it. And if you're coming, you can call in and um, they'll hold stuff for mm -hmm. you. So you don't have to make multiple purchases and um, they'll just put your name on it and set it to the side. Gosh, this is cute, just like this. If you just did this right down the middle of the card and then um, put a sentiment on it. Is that the second from the smallest? Second from the smallest, it is. All right, is that how many colors I did? I think That's I did six. That's super cute. Y'all know how many uh -huh, dyes come purple. in the set? You purple, didn't do thank that Thank you, purple. I did seven. How many come in the set? I can show you. Five. Three, four, five. Right here. I just guess. Three, four, five. It's adorbs, y'all. Oh, I stuck that one down too quick. Line it up first. If you are coming to open house, I cannot wait for y'all to see. Y'all, we have started something. We're going to try to have it done before you get here. But we have started something called the gallery where we are taking our hallway and we are putting projects that I have made in the past that have videos to go along with them. And we're hoping to have all the QR codes done where when you walk up to it, if you want to watch it, you just hold it up through the QR code and click it. And what's really cool about that is maybe you can't watch it while you're here. You can click it and then save that video to watch later. So you'll be able to find all the projects like that. I'm so excited about our gallery. I'm so Speaking excited. Speaking of opening a can of worms, Hillary says, how do you count second from the smallest? Y'all got to stop. To the smallest, which is one, and the next one in would be two. That's how we just did that. I agree with her about that, though. I've heard that said, heard it said. Second from. 
Because it's not the first from. Let's well, not go there. If it had been the smallest, the I would have just said the smallest. It's not. It's the second from. It's the first from the smallest. How about this? My brother <laughs> says second. He does not say second. How about that? Second. Y'all, there's five in it. It's not number one in the middle. It's number two. Okay. This is cute if you just kind of did this. I'm going to see what happens if I decrease as I go up. Let's just see. Let's just play. Let's use. I'm looking at the colors to see what I've used. All of them. So you're going to have hanging over on it a lot of sides. No, I will cut it. Well, I know, but that's what I'm saying. You're going to have to cut hangy over from a lot of yes, sides. You will. cover the whole card. Natalie said we're over. extra awesome today. Enjoying the fun band. I'm really struggling right now. Why? Because, oh, purple. Did Just you mess up and you don't and know what it. you're... Isn't it like this in quilts when you said it's okay if colors touch colors? I'm okay with it. Well, then let My it quilt teacher's you. okay with it. Now, some people hey, aren't. you need an orange on that side. Yeah, you think that. I do know that. Yeah, but you don't have anything on that side. I'm not going over here. Why not? I'm working my way. I'm oh, decreasing. So you're not covering the whole card. I don't think I am. I'm going to try this. Oh, see, I thought you were covering the whole card. Nope, I'm going to try okay, this. Okay, then you need to go teal. I want to do teal, but I got a teal right there. But Terrence I want to do purple teal. to green. I want to do, do teal. Do the darker green. Oh, that's a green with a green. I don't okay. know that I want to change. I don't want to I I, I mix what you greens. Did. Um, then do, I, I still say teal what if or I, red. What if I don't keep going? What if I really break it oh, up? Oh, and break it all up. Make it look like a real honeycomb. Mm -hmm. What if I really break it But then you could up? do solid line above that and just leave spaces in the middle. This would be a cute one to just do, stamp a little sentiment in a hole on the front. Mm -hmm. Where you didn't like put something. Mm-hmm. Okay, the two stamp sets that she's used today are Action, and then um, uh, uh, the Friends one is Thank called you for being May May's uh, uh, Say It Friendly. Say It Friendly. So Action and Say It Friendly, and I will link those. Is that right for you? Yes, yeah, Say It Friendly. <laughs> This kind of looks like a science project. What are those things? Atoms. Yeah. Look, that looks like a flower. I'm just laying to see how, I mean, you could just play. Put them anywhere. Have them going that away. Have them going this away. You turned it around. This away or that away? That away is away. I kind of like it like it looks like like it breaks out into a flower. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm stopping because I want to show you the buttons. Isn't this cute, though? You can do anything you want with your hexes. And then on this side, you would just cut them off so you get your blank card. I think that's really cute. Let's cut them off so we can see what it looks like. Ooh, Heather said you could add some buttons in the blank spaces. In the blanks. I got to show you all the buttons, and we're going to be here a minute because it's a lot. I have other stuff to show you, too, today. If y'all want to see it, y'all want to see everything, you're going to wait till Thursday. You probably don't want me to wait till Thursday because Thursday we have a lot. That is cute. Even if you just left it kind of like that. Yeah, you don't want to hold everything we got till Look. Tuesday on top of what's going to be here between cute. And, and then put. I'm going to stay upset. What a mess I have on this desk. What'd you lose? My friend stamped it. It was right there. Where? Right here. No, the other, the blank. Becky oh, said, see it went. now. She won't wait. Well, then you put this on here. I can't find, oh, there it is. Y'all, we never think to look right in front of us. Isn't that cute? Maybe down here, maybe you leave a hole for it. Maybe you run it this way. God. This stamp set, I can't get enough of it. I can't. All right, so I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to put all my little pieces that I cut off, because who knows? See it, see it, said Mackie. Because who knows when we'll need all of this stuff, all these goodies. Put this in here. I'm going to put this in here so we can put it all away later. This, I do kind of like this, because all this can be dealt with. 
and it won't be all over my desk. Look at that. These little storage thingies. Love it. Okay. So let's look at buttons because y'all want to see them. I know you do because they're so cute. We're going to have to rapid fire them. Don't you think? It's a lot. Let's start with yeah. these. I and fell in love with these. All right, ready? We're going to start with this one. This is, I'm going to zoom in so I don't have to like keep holding them to the camera. Maybe I'm zoomed all the way in. I do not think I am, but it's acting like I am. Okay, so I'm holding to the camera. Strawberry daiquiri. Aren't these adorable? Oh, I didn't show them the other thing either. I got to show that to you. This is neutrality. All the neutrals. Show you both sides. Let me show you the red one. This one is Island Margarita. This one is Sea Salt. And I'll tell you the, the reason we got neutrality and sea salt. These are a little wider and these are a little more vintagey. So if you're looking for vintagey, there you go. For those asking about my dad, he is doing better. He did have an issue with his blood pressure dropping too low. And that caused him to pass out Saturday morning. But we went to the doctor yesterday and had some adjustments to his medication. And he seems to be better today. I totally could have cut the dye across with this. <laughs> Are they flat backs? So those are. That's what I want to show you. This tool is used if it's not a flat back. <clears throat> okay, so some of them are, some of them aren't. When you have this tool, what you can do is when you have a button like this that has like the little hook on it, the little circle, you can use your tool and just cut that away. Just snip it away. It goes like magic. Um, these are called a day at the park. Look how cute these are. And shank, that's right. Yeah, good job, shank. Amy. <laughs> like these are mixed, by the way. When you get them like this, you're gonna have some with a shank and some without. Shanks, shanks, Amy. Shanks, shanks so much. This one is called. What is this called? Baby. Look at that. It's not gold, but you get a you get a star. <laughs> I showed y'all all these colors. I'm not gonna go through those again. These were these are flat back by the way, and I showed you all the colors we have in those. Those are all different. Look at these. We have a bunch of these. Look at these. These are flat back. Look at these flowers. Think about these for the fronts of folios. I'm going to lay these out so you can see the colors. This color is called poppy. We could not leave it behind. Look how beautiful. Debbie, you should definitely come Friday for open house. Look at this. Yes. This one is iris. That's the color. Color Everybody name. Come. This one I love. This is vintage bouquet. So pretty. I think you get a lot of use out of that. There's more of those. Let me find all those first. So we've gone through all of those. This one is called Buttercup. You know why she loves them, y'all? Because they're kind of circular. <laughs> if they were hexagon, I'd really love them. Look, this one is um, Boutonniere. Boutonniere. Aren't they cute? I think that's all of those, isn't it? I think so. There might be another one. If there is, I'll pull it out. I'm making a right mess. All right. These are called sewing so look how cute these are they're normal oh my gosh they're so cute so you get some flat circular ones and you get some with shanks on them i was thinking today lorna um when we were putting stickers on them and hanging them on the wall that some of these would be super cute for baby dresses oh here's more colors of those flowers this is bells of ireland something i have to tell you though is this there are some packs that are this size. These are called garden bugs. Some are this size, okay? Some are the value pack. So when you see this, I don't know how many is in here. I don't know that they tell you. I don't think they do, but you can see the difference. When you get the value pack, the price will be different. Okay, I wanted to, I wanted to point that out as I'm showing you. All right, so mouse ears, perfect for scrapbooking. Perfect for folios. Funky flowers. Oops. Ladybugs. So cute. Strawberries. Okay. You'll probably see me bring more of these in. These are literally called flatbacks. And look, they're like flatback charms. And I really like these. So we'll probably start bringing in this collection too. Flatbacks. Then we've got 
fruit smoothie. Look how stinking cute these are. They're so oh, cute. these would be super cute on cardigans. Watermelon medley. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, these are real buttons, by the way. I don't think I've even said that. They're real buttons. I just like them for craftiness. And I'll tell you something about these buttons. I've been using these since I worked at Peace Goods. I, honestly, we, but they didn't come like this. They used to come on a card. They, so they may still do, but they came on a card, and we can only get so many. These are so much better. So many more choices. This one is called Summer Fruit. That's so cute. It is. Those look like you they're looking at you. need to make the girls sundresses and have these buttons too, just solid color or checkered and have the cute You know, I bought some shoulders. cute buttons because I went to a store that had them and I was like, look at these cute buttons. Now I have Do we have myself. any cherry button? Um, I don't think we have any in this one, but she said she had cherry and peach. She was going to work on those. Didn't she yeah. say that? I know we requested some peach. Because yeah, we requested peach. Look at the tulips, y'all. Look at little blooms. And I'm going to tell you something, even if you don't use these as a button on clothing, you can sew them down. Like you could sew these down across maybe some smocking or if you don't smock, maybe across the yoke where it's pleated and gathered together. Wouldn't that be cute? Little row of tulips sewn down as decoration. So cute. This one is called Let Freedom Ring. This is adorable. <laughs> Blessing. When, when would uh, club orders have gone out for the friend stamp? They went out on the sixth no no with the weekend so they did not ship until the eighth okay this one's called happy birthday look how cute all right this one is called happily ever after we had to get this one because i have granddaughters right y'all know this just felt like them i was like look that just feels like the girls okay and then this one is called this is a value pack i think that let me not do value. I'll do value packs last. I want to show you these. Okay. So remember we used the tiny buttons as the lights on my um, gingerbread house book? Look at these. These are tiny. Let me tell you what size they are. I'll put the ruler up to them. They're just a quarter inch. See how tiny they are? Just a quarter of an inch. So we've got um, primary. This is primary colors. I'll lay them out. This is white. This is black and white. I'm just telling y'all the names of them. So if you're looking for them, these are garden. So cute. And these are pastel. Aren't they gorgeous? Then we have value packs. This value pack is called sports. I love that they, this was a Vinny pick. He's like, I really like that they have multiple sports in one bag. So there's that. Hey, the racket turned upside down kind of looks like a big chicken leg. <laughs> this is the wedding pack. Which is so pretty. So stinking cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, this is not a value pack. This is Dream It. How cute. This one is called Boys. Boy. That just reminds me of a whiny story. Whiny had a teacher. <laughs> Do you remember the one, the boy story? Boys. I can't do it. Can you do it? Oh, oh I'm going to miss that. When he had a story about a teacher in Thorsby that would fuss at them, but he would fuss at them and he'd go, boys. But he whistled every boys. time he said boys at the end, he would go, boys. And when he could do it just like him, that reminds me of that. So this one's called boys. Boys. I can't do it. I wish I could. When he could do it perfect. Boys. Oh, here's another one of our floral sets. This one is C. Anemone. anemone. I want to say an anemone. Or no, I want to say an, an, an anemone. I want to say like an, an, multiple, an, an, multiple times. An, this an, one, though, buzzing an, around. Can y'all believe how one. many dead gum buttons we have? We ain't even halfway through. No, I am. I'm well halfway through. Three quarters, maybe. This is dogs. Look how cute this is. It's funny because you said this is dogs and my computer's behind. And you go, this is dogs and it's these. This is cats. Look at the little food bowl. So cute. Speaking of, remind me. Tomorrow I want to bring that bowl for Darcy. Will you remind me of that? All right. And then. Um, um, can I interrupt you for just yep. a second? Heidi, they did have fall colors, but we didn't bring fall stuff in right now. So we're going to do that when it gets closer to fall. Closer they to have fall. fall and Christmas, but we hadn't brought all that in yet. We'll do fall like June, July. I don't wait. Like, I don't wait as late. Okay, with paper, I wait until they give it to me because they don't always give me fall paper when I want it. But we'll do June and July for that. 
And then this one is called, oh, I didn't get the name. Hold on. This one is called Vacation vacation all i ever wanted oh look at the sunglasses that's cute all right oh another tiny button in black by the way this is not the tiniest button they have we didn't get the tinier ones would y'all want the tinier ones there's one size smaller yeah they were adorable they were teensy but we were afraid y'all would be um not be able to oh use them. you'd be like i can't see I can't them see it. this one is called where Baby my bones at Baby girl, where my buttons at? That was cute, babe. That was cute. I don't know. I don't know. That was very cute of you. You're, you got cute right there. This one is so cute. This is I called the bunny one. Baby boy. <laughs> He's the funny one. Baby boy. And then this one is called celebrate. This is cute right here. Look. Now, we've had these before, but while we were there, we fell in love with these, so we ordered them, too. We've had sprinklets for doing shaker cards. We've had those before. Look at this right here. This is called Mirasol, and they're little flowers, and they have little, um, they look like candy sprinkles, but they're not. Sprinkles is with it. They're called sprinklets, that, so yeah. the florals. They look like jimmies. This one's jimmies. jimmies. Um, I, they're jimmies here, but are they hundreds and thousands in the UK? I think they're called hundreds. And, I don't know. Lemonade. Cute for shaker cards. Lemonade. That makes that made my mouth like water for lemons. That's funny. This one is called Bumblebees. It is so cute. Look at those bumblebees. All right. So I went and checked y'all out. We got 559 people watching. 363 likes. Mouse ears. So 200 of you ain't like nothing yet. And spring break. Oh, I made the thing go out of focus in that spring break we've had these before we've had spring break before i remember um now let's put all of this so are the, here. some of the buttons rubber or silicone no they are all i don't know they're actual i'm gonna say plastic i guess so but they're yeah, not they're, none they're of not them are silicone. they're not squishy or soft they're hard some of them like these look squishy like the balloons but they're, yeah. they're hard. Chastity wants to know, what's a good way to store my stamp sets? Some of the packaging is tearing up. We use plastic containers and we're using, we're getting a new one. We have a new one that came in. We're going to start using also, ow, now that y'all mentioned it, I want to ask y'all a question. Or just, can you find one of our things? What thingy? <laughs> this doesn't tell you. It tells me sure, like, you understand. You understand? No, Look the close. paper thingies, the paper holders. What did you? I have one. You ate three of them over here. Come did on, you eat this it? thing, Shannon. This thing. This thing. Surely you understand. Okay, I think it'd be cool to make well, these we were for stamps. About stamps. So I was kind of. And we were talking about maybe me designing one to fit stamp sets. What do y'all think? And maybe it would hold. Would you want it to hold one? Would you want it to hold five? I would want it to hold one because otherwise, unless you know what you put in there, you'd have to pull them all out. To find if it held one, you could put one in with all the die cut pieces that you have extra. Or if you do any masking or anything like that, if you had any extra stamps and you could put them all in here. So would y'all want me to do this for stamp sets? We could do it for all sizes. We could do it for six by six for um, six by eight for four by six. We could do all we do it in one video because too, too many videos. Also, um, that's what I was saying. I need some more of these made. I've got to make yeah. some more of these stamp up. set holders. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. I think they'd work well for stamps. We might even make them with acetate and be able to see through it. All right. I think I had a couple more things to show. Did I? Just this? That was all that was in the box. Okay. Here's what I need y'all to do. I special got her to show this today. This was not supposed to be shown on Tuesday. I special got Amber to get it ready for us. Okay. If you are a word search person and you love the Lord, pay attention. If you are a word search well, let's person. Let's clear it up again. Word search person. Poison. Poison. <laughs> that loves Jesus. Poison. That loves the Lord. If you love the Lord, then you're a word search person. Ready? These are fantastic. Our choice book sky came. We got to pick some books. And I so we brought in we brought in word searches that were scripture based. There was a scripture with words from the scripture, and then you searched it, right? And then he showed me this. These are from Seekers of the Word. Okay. 
I was like, yes, please. We have to have these. So look, there is like a little devotion or a little study. Okay. And then there's a word search for it. There's a little study and a word search. How cool is this? And it is large print. I made sure that we got the large print version. Look at this. This is so neat. So you get a study and a word search and the whole book. Some of them lay out a little different. And I'm not sure if that's because this is just a shorter study and you could have more space there. But some of them lay out different. Um, how cool is this for your call? Oh, it has the answers. That's cool, too. Um, how cool is this for your coffee in the mornings? You know, I think this is neat. This one is Women of the Bible. OK. This one is the morning and evening devotional from Charles, Charles Spurgeon. Y'all probably have heard of this one before. OK, look at this. Day 47 devotional word search. I think these are amazing. Now, I have less of this one. I think we have less of this one than we do the other one, but I'm in love with these. We also got a lot of other books, but we didn't have time to get books in before today. These I just wanted y'all to see because I think they're great. And if you're like me and you like to do something like this in the mornings with your coffee or something like that, I will tell you that if you watch my Bible um, journal video on Sunday, I mentioned to you the pray the word books and I mean the write the word books. And I told you they were coming back. They have come. They are back. But the ones we got, we only put in the store until after open house because I only brought in a select amount of them. But if you have been interested or you've been wanting to pray the word, a write the word book, um, you can call in and they can help you with that. I think there's like seven titles we brought in. But you'll see those after open house. But if you wanted to grab these, what a great gift. What a great gift for somebody in the hospital, somebody in a nursing home, somebody uh, somebody homebound. How cool to give this out to maybe your, your, um, they used to call them shut-ins. We don't call them that anymore, but like, you know, your homebound ministry, what a cool thing to get for them. I love it. And we can get more of these if y'all, if we run out of them, cause they're really, really great. And they're that soft cover. They make a good gift. Have you felt this? Mm -hmm. They're that it feels like a substantial gift. It's only $12.99. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all for that. It's, and look how thick it is. It's a big book. Discover some of the many women who are part of the biblical history of women of the Bible, large print word search with 150 easy to read large print word searches that are sure to inspire your faith. You will discover heroines such as Ruth, Esther, prophets like Moses, sister Miriam, the Shunammite woman who provided a place for Elisha to stay, Samuel's mother, Hannah, and many more. There are only six of the women. One. Oh, that makes me sad. We'll get more. He came by, he'll, he'll be by again. And I told him that if these go really well, I'll make sure to tell him how many we need. This one says morning and evening devotional on peace and comfort in large print word search features the inspirational words of Charles Spurgeon from his classic devotional. Um, in the eight, well, I'm not, that's no big deal. Y'all know about that. If you know his devo that the morning and evening devotional is very well known. Um, this is cool. From the Prince of Preachers. Morning. Oh, look, you have morning and evening. That's pretty cool. You know what you could do? If you, you don't have to do this, but you could. You could do all mornings and then come back and do all evenings and stretch the days. You know what I'm saying? Stretch the book out. I could laugh all. Yep, that would be cool. All right. What else do I need to tell y'all about? Here's what I need to tell y'all. Come to open house. Yes. But also, if you're thinking about Craft Acropolis, you need to consider getting your tickets. If you have already gotten your tickets, um, Tamitha doesn't know this because we were going to talk about this this week, but she's been a little derailed. So we'll get this done. I want to go ahead and get the Facebook group made for that. And the reason is not just the Facebook group. Everybody will know about this. There's some stuff we want to do different this time, this, this go around. Um, some things we want y'all to kind of prep and bring with you or you'll see. It'll be super fun. But I want to go ahead and let you know so you have plenty of time to make it. And we're already mid-April. So June, into June is pretty close. So if you already have your tickets, I want you to be watching for an email about that. It'll be after open house, but be watching for that. And then um, if you haven't gotten your tickets, grab your tickets. You can get them at maymayevents.com. A nine-hour plane flight, that's nothing. I say that like I would do that. I would not do that. She would not. 
I would not we wish it. y'all all could come. We do wish y'all all could come. Um, but yes, and we also have one in October, by the way. Um, Penny, if y'all don't know, so charming won um quilt shop of the year again this year for the second year. Two and, years in a row. And she's been in, she's been interviewed on TV and in the newspaper and everywhere she's talking about Craft Acropolis. If y'all don't know this. Penny loves Craft Acropolis more than I think anyone does. It is her favorite thing. She talks about it so much. She sent me her news article and she was like, look at this article they wrote about us. And they put um, Craft Acropolis in it. And it's so cute. She cannot wait. She gets so excited, you guys. Um, Missy gets nervous because y'all know how Missy is about teaching y'all. And she's great. She gets, she's fantastic. And she's so you fun. Can't, and you can't even tell she's nervous when she's teaching. But she's nervous when yeah. she's, she's nervous, but she'll, she'll do great. We had lunch with her today and she's, she'll love it. She'll love it. She'll do a we good job. We can't wait either, Mackie. We can't. I'm so excited. We're going to, I'm excited about getting to see people this weekend. And I'm also excited. I like how we have it laid out four times a year. We don't have to go so long without seeing y'all. All right, you guys, that's what we had today. Vinny is going to close us out with a word of prayer, and we're going to go finish getting ready for open house. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thank you for the day. I thank you for all your blessings and your faithfulness to us. I pray, God, that today you would just pour out your blessings on every person watching today and that will be watching in the future. God, I thank you for their sacrifice of their time to hang out with us and just to be part of this community. God, I thank you for each and every person that took time to be with us today. I pray, God, for those that are hurting. I lift up Tim to you, God, as he's in the hospital, and Tam, as she's trying to support and be there for him. I pray for my dad, God, that you would continue uh, to work with him and with my mom. Lord, we just praise you for who you are. Um, I know, God, there are some others that are dealing with some things, and, God, you know those needs intimately. So, God, we just trust you for them. I pray, God, that uh, today you would be with each person. Bless them. Keep us safe. And thank you again for the time that we get to share together a couple of times a week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you guys, thanks for being here today. And until next time, bye, bye now. now.